I'm Sebastian Raber. I own 1806, which is Melbourne CBD. It's a classic cocktail bar, open late into the night. My name's Julie Quinton. I'm the owner of Victory Super IGA in Warrandyte, where I hold a packaged liquor licence. My name's David Tanney at the Red Lion Hotel in Ballarat. I've been working in the industry for 22 years, operating this hotel for the last 16, and also the Dalesford Royal Hotel for the last couple of years. We know that alcohol can be a dangerous product if it's consumed in an irresponsible way. We work in a really interesting industry in that we want to sell as much alcohol as we can, but we don't want anyone to become intoxicated, drunk or be harmed by it. So it's a balancing act for us. There is a responsibility on bar staff and, and venue operators that we should be the ones guiding people into what they should drink. The very first time I ever did an RSA, I was completely surprised by implications and um, things that, that I needed to know that I didn't know. Turning customers down, saying to them, I can't give you another drink, is a fact of hospitality. Because when people do have a drink, their judgement is impaired. When their judgement is impaired, they think they should have another. And it's our job as sober bartenders to say, oh, oh you're wrong, and to say it nicely. And that's generally the place where most conflict occurs. If we teach young bartenders how to diffuse that conflict, we don't have as many problems. We don't have as many fights. Security get involved less. Customers leave happy. Early intervention is certainly the key to, to maintaining a safe environment. The signs that we would certainly look for would be things like being loud and boisterous, slurring speech, making mistakes while talking, Hey mate, you right? Argumentative, uh, annoying other patrons and staff, or exhibiting any inappropriate sexual behaviour. Being aggressive or using offensive language. They're pretty obvious signs and a change in behaviour which would alert us to say we need to keep a pretty close eye on things here. To recap, the noticeable changes in behaviour are being loud and boisterous, argumentative, annoying other patrons and staff, slurring speech, inappropriate sexual behaviour and becoming aggressive. Some of the signs for the loss of coordination would include maybe glassy-eyed and lack of focus, swaying, staggering or difficulty in walking straight Certainly when you get a bit of a sway going, it's always a good indicator. Bumping into furniture and other patrons. Fumbling and difficulty picking up change. Even to the extent of falling down. And also not being able to hold a conversation properly. Um, knocking things over, they start to get clumsy. They misjudge where the bar is and you know, can't sort of grab their drink properly. To recap, the early signs of noticeable loss of coordination include glassy-eyed or lack of focus, swaying, staggering or difficulty walking straight, bumping into furniture and other patrons, spilling drinks, fumbling and difficulty picking up change and falling down. Some of the signs of becoming less alert include uh, rambling conversation, loss of train of thought, difficulty in paying attention, not hearing or understanding what is said, hey, you right? and finally drowsiness, dozing or sleepiness while sitting at the bar. To recap, other signs that a person is becoming less alert are rambling conversation, difficulty in paying attention, not hearing or understanding what is said, loss of train of thought, and drowsiness, dozing or sleeping while sitting at a bar or table.